Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Vainglory video. This is Razios here, and today I am going to be playing the new Hero Gram Jaw. I'll, I'm super hyped about this. It's my first time playing him, and yeah, like I've seen bad and good reviews about him. He is really, really good in my opinion because of his CP path, which I'm gonna show you guys today. But I like, how should I say this? I'm gonna show you the WP path and the CP path, and see which one is better in my opinion. But so far from the stats itself, I think that the CP path is definitely better, especially with, when you pair it with alternating current. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna pair our CP path with an alternating current. I'll be a fountain just for the sake of it. For the defense and everything. I shouldn't enable quick buy. So yeah, it's for the defense and everything. Mm, yeah, the build in my opinion is high kind of needs improvement, but you guys can see how it is. The point of uh, the CP uh, Gram Jaw with alternating current is that because of his second skill, he is able to. Okay, that thing in the car. Oh, damn it. He is able to. Uh, how should I say? Um, he is. Mm, I lost all words now. <laughs> He yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, because of his second skill, yes. Uh, he is able to do a, a lot of damage, like in his uh, uh WP counterpart, he will be able to do enough damage. Come on, survive, Ringo. What are you doing? This Ringo is kind of retarded. They got the they got the ace on us. That's very bad. And the point of, of the point that I built a Halcyon Charger instead of War Threads for Gram Jaw is that Halcyon Charger is a lot better on him. Come on, can I still do it? No! Uh, Halcyon Charger is a lot better on him because it gives him the energy, it gives him enough energy for all his needs. Come on, uh, my fountain wasn't up. It gives him all the energy for his needs, and yeah, he will be able to do a lot of damage, a lot of burst damage, uh, to be specific. And yeah, I would build two defense for him usually because by itself, even though he seems very very tanky, I don't think that he's all that tanky at all. That's one thing. That we, uh, we will have to watch out about. But uh, what he is actually quite good in lane. That's one thing I found out. He has. Uh, I pressed. I pressed it the wrong direction. I have a huge misclick. I love the new. Damn it, the Gwen does a lot of damage. He is quite decent so far. He's not really, really good. Like, as a support, he is okay, I guess. As a jungler, I don't think he is all that good, but that's the whole point of trying out right now is to see how good he does in the game. Come on. Oh my god, I was so close to doing it. And when you pair him with a crystal infusion, he gets so much more stronger. So, yeah. And one thing about Grumjo is that he's actually quite sus like quite weak to heroes that like deal a lot of constant damage like Ringo, Gwen, Vox. So yeah, this is the CP path. I hope you guys learned something from it. Yeah, you know what? Let's get into 
another game using the CP path. So yeah, today would have two videos, one on the CP path, one on the WP path. I hope you all, I hope you guys enjoy it. But let's just move on to the next game. Now, catch you guys later. Welcome back to the second part of the video. As I said just now, I'm going to be trying out the CP path of ground jaw yet again because in the previous game yeah we did kind of i did kind of horribly but we are gonna try out in another game to see whether if ground jaw is all that good worth the money to buy and yeah let's just get into the game as you guys can see my teammates are wp ringo cp joe and my opponents uh, a casual Taka with the new skin school days Taka I, I absolutely love it I want to get it but it's quite expensive and Paragon Catherine yeah it's quite easy to get but in my opinion it looks ugly as hell and Alpha with her skin just being an absolute doll <laughs> so yeah as usual, I'm gonna go in the jungle again. And let's just see how we do this time. So, instead of starting off with a alternating current, straight away I'll start off with a frost burn this time. A Halcyon Chargers. Oak Heart, Light Armor and Shield. And another Crystal Bit. And then, time to go jungle. I think uh, Grum Joe would actually be quite good when paired with. I don't really know how to use his skills yet. Grum Joe will actually be quite good when you pair with Echo because he can uh, technically remove the enemy twice, if you say it that way. They. Come on. Wow. He somehow clipped that um, Taka and he just got that Taka. <laughs> yeah. So, so far, uh, his A is has a lot of bursts. It's something like, um, Lance's first skill when you build a weapon on it, which is actually quite decent. Enemy hero got three points. Oh, our team, <laughs> on that team. And in the lane, he's uh, he's quite strong because he's able to get you into the turret. Damn it, he managed to dodge it. <sighs> I should have seen a Taka coming back. Yeah. So far not bad actually this this game as compared to the previous one. And yeah, I find that him uh ground draw with frostburn is pretty decent. And you can do like a very significant amount of damage. Which is good. <sighs> you guys did not see that. I don't know how his WP would be, but we're gonna try it out in another video, which you guys can check it out later. And yeah, uh, for me, I would I I would build him as semi support, like you guys see now. Okay, no one's there. Him in semi support is actually quite decent in my opinion. Let me they ran. Oh 
Come on. Ah, damn it. Yeah, see, he's there. Easy, easy. Yep, got him. Oh, wait. No, what? Wait. I'm pretty sure it was a Taka beside me, not a calf. What? I'm... I'm so confused right now. Come on, let's get the gold miner. Can I can I actually eat the gold miner? I don't actually really know. You see, even though we, uh, you have Halcyon charges, he consumes his energy really, really quickly. So that's one thing you guys need to uh, look out for when you play Gramjaw, is that his energy is freaking freaking less. What? Oh, you I still don't know his skills really well yet, so forgive me if I do something really, really idiotic. Okay, that's the win, guys. One kill, one death, and four assists. So far from what I see is that as a jungler, he's not really all that good. But we haven't tried his a weapon path yet but so far as a jungler he's not that good and yeah as a support I would not actually I actually would not know whether he's that good or not in my opinion he's actually quite bad in support also so all in all Grumjaw is overrated yeah but I'll be releasing a, a video on the weapon build of Grumjaw so make sure to stay tuned and yeah I hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and yeah if you're hyped about the new update make sure to go check it out I'm absolutely hyped about it Gramjaw's hype actually died out cause he's a lot worse than I expected him to be but as you guys know disappointments are always here and yeah if you guys want to check out my other videos go check them out and as always stay awesome and peace.